Warning, this video isn't for anyone under the age of 16. If you're under 16 years old, please leave the video now because we do get into some adult type shit. Thank you. Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Charles Zanami World and welcome to my review of Redo Healer Episode 12. This will be my final review for Season 1, Episode 12. And what I like to do on my channel, guys, is I like to showcase off the differences between the anime and the manga without spoiling you guys. So you guys don't have to go back and read the manga if you don't want to. That's what makes my reviews different from anyone else's. So let's start this thing off. Now, this episode, the final episode of Season 1, takes place between chapters... Uh, 028.1 through 031.1 in total of seven chapters. So let's talk about the differences. First big difference was Freya's appearance. Now, in the anime, she's this giant hologram, you know, talking to all the townspeople, you know, you know, use, using magic, of course, but she's this giant hologram. In the manga, she's just standing on a building talking regular. No hologram, no nothing. The next big difference is Kiaro's rage for losing a friend. Now in the anime, it would have been the cat guy because the cat guy was an anime only character. In the manga, it would be the cat girl at the cafe. You know, Kiaro lets his rage build and he takes it out on one of Norn's soldiers, you know, making him explode. And may I add this? The whole battle between the soldiers taking on the demons or monsters, whatever you want to call them, it was much more violenter in the manga than it was in the anime. The anime toned it down a lot, and I mean a lot, okay? The next big difference was the anime got rid of the eagle eye scene where he shoots an arrow through people just to hit Kearu. Going back to what I just said, how it, it was much more violenter in the manga than it was in the anime. They completely took that scene out of the anime and actually the first time that he actually fires an arrow at Kearu is when he's standing right next to Norm. Eve actually plays a role in helping Kearu during the whole Norm mess but for whatever reason what the anime is trying to do is they're trying to make Eve stay as pure as possible. They don't want her taking out anyone, killing anyone, while in fact in the manga she's already killed a few people already. But for some reason, you know, they don't want that to be portrayed within the anime. I don't understand that. The anime also took out a scene where Norm completely loses her shit because she has to retreat because Freya comes out and, you know, she makes this grand appearance and does this grand speech and, you know, Norm gets pissed and has to retreat where she hops into her carriage the anime takes out the scene where Kearu pretends to be a soldier gets inside the carriage with Norn and attempts to try to kill Eagle Eyes the anime took all that out matter of fact the whole fucking battle in the, thro in the throne room or in the castle wherever Norn and Eagle Eyes was was anime only. That whole damn battle was anime only. None of that happened in the manga. Well, let me be, let me correct myself. The battle between Eagle Eyes and Kearu did happen in the manga, but it didn't happen in the throne room or in the castle like it did in the anime. Actually, in the manga, the battle between Eagle Eyes and Kearu happened on a moving carriage. And the same carriage where he pretended to be a soldier so he can get closer to Eagle Eyes and to Norn, that's when the battle happened. In the manga, Kearu kills Eagle Eyes in the exact same way that he does kill him in the anime. So I'm okay with that. But I will say this, I will add this. In the manga, Kearu has to temporarily lose his hand, his wrist hand, um, from the battle just to take out Eagle Eyes. I will say that. In the manga, because again, like I said, in the anime, the, this whole battle takes place within a castle and in a throne room, wherever. But in the manga, it takes place on a moving carriage. So at the very end of this battle between Eagle Eyes and Kearu, yes, in both the anime and the manga, he does explode. But <laughs> in the manga... Eagle Eyes explodes on a moving carriage and it literally rains blood on top of Norn. 
okay? So, in both the anime and the manga, Keiaru does introduce his long-lost sister to the rest of the girls. The only difference is, is that in the anime, Korea is actually there, but in the manga, she isn't there. Because the anime had to set up one last big gangbang for Keiaru and all the girls, so that's why they added Korea there in the anime. Now, I will say one thing that the anime left out, and I don't understand why in the world would you leave this out, because this is a really cool scene as well. The anime got rid of Keiaru explaining why his long-lost sister wants to bang him. And it's because some of Norm's characteristics carried over when he healed her. But for whatever reason, well, I know the reason because they had to have time in for the fun time scene. So they had to cut that out. But I really wish they could have added that because there's this one scene when Norm or, you know, his sister now, Elia or Elena, whatever, <laughs> where she grabs his, <laughs> she she grabs Mr. Johnson. And I love that scene because it's so, it's just good. It, like, I love that scene. I always would put Norm over Freya, to be honest. That's just me. I always put Norm over Freya. And last but not least, guys, let's talk about Bullet's appearance. Now, in the manga, when we see Bullet again, he looks normal. You know, just like he did when we, we in every sense or every time we seen him. But in the anime, it seems that Bullet is now a holy man or a priest of some sort. And let me say this. Congratulations for Bullet for finding a job that suits him to the T. You know what? I have to admit, it, it because you, you saw it around his neck, you saw the hat. Bullet being a priest or a holy man is perfect. I mean, could you have picked a better job for Bullet? You know? He gets along well with others. I mean, like, I mean, could you have picked a better job? I'm trying not to laugh while I do this review. But could you have not picked a better job for Bullet to be a holy man and a priest? It, it's, it's, it's the perfect job for him. It really is. And everything after Bullet that you saw in this episode was anime only. Everything that happened after you saw Bullet, you know... All of that, all of that was anime only. And that's how we end this season of Redo Healer. Now, last thing I want to say to you guys is thank you so much. Thank you so much. I've gotten so many new subscribers from doing these videos. Um, I made some, some new friends or whatever. Um, again, thank you guys so much for subscribing to me. For Redo Healer, I will be back when Season 2 comes. And trust me, this will get a Season 2. They're actually re-releasing the manga in Japan right now. And you know what's crazy, and a lot of people don't know this, that the creator of Redo Healer is, a, is actually a female. Yes! Isn't that... A lot of people do, did not know that. That the, the mangaka, the creator of Redo Healer, is just a horny chick. <laughs> but hey, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me for these 12 episodes. Again, if you're new to the channel, um, it, it, please check out my Eden Zero reviews. I, I love that series so much. Check out some of my past work as well. I've talked about Yashihime as well. I've did reviews on um, DC's The Titans. You know, I, I, I do a lot of stuff. But thank you guys so much. I will catch you guys whenever. <laughs> but hey, sign our seconds.